things have boiled over boiling point, you know what I mean? It's an absolute joke. I don't know why we're fiddling with other countries' affairs when we can't even sort our own. Well, the police can't do all this, can they? What I say is, why don't they just write ransom onto instead? I, I can't even take my dog for a walk, for God's sake! Things are going bandy, right? And we need some kind of saviour. Jesus or Batman or someone like that. May I kill you then? Whatever. They are scum. Scum of sound mind who give their consent. I'm not a murderer. I'm a death facilitator for sick subs to exit from a sick society. I make London healthier. Removing only low lowlifes with a criminal past or present. Could all be a fake. You know it isn't. Some of you have called me a serial killer. But I operate with clear guidelines and published warnings in the public interest. And five criminals who were terminated gave their permission. Been following him on Twitter, as a matter of fact. Go on. What? Doesn't mean I am him, it's just... Well, don't you find him funny? Yeah, well, I can't help find the idea of a British Bobby with a Smith & Wesson funny. You came to my doorstep. You had the fucking gall to ask my children if their mummy and daddy were at home. The word is parent. Do you get me? My crew hate the Jamaican boys, right? Feds got no right to break up a rumble. It's a fucking private fucking beef. And that's why we're all gonna gang up and stick you, yeah? You, yeah, but what's good, bro? What's good, bro? Quiet! You lot have made your complaint. Next. <clears throat> On behalf of animal rights in this borough, I have to tell you that on Thursday afternoon, I saw a beautiful Alsatian dog in the back of a police car. <laughs> 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 Do you get full pay on this already? What a useless career. Must have inherited your father's brain. Do you even know where he went? Where every slut came from, God knows. I gave up my job, pinned my hopes on you. It was bad enough when you joined the police. Eight years on, still a plod. And now, on a bicycle. When did you last have a bath? Oh, I've seen all of you since you're a baby, and ain't no woman ever gonna activate that equipment you're trying to hide. He certainly won't be trying to crossword puzzle anytime soon. Mind you, these people had families, yeah? Mums, dads. Lovers and shit. So then, tell us about your family, Seth. 
Cut them out of my life years ago. Went my own way. Respectable bunch. No fucking skeletons, if that's what you're after. Only person to show me any understanding is my aunt. What? I wonder what the police national computer says about you, Seth. I know what it says about me. Dealing in class A's, video piracy, forgery, actual bodily harm. Hardly the master criminal, are we? Why are you showing me all this? You'll see. Bro, didn't Jack know remote? <laughs> I'm arresting you on suspicion of theft, violent disorder, and assaulting a police officer in the execution of his duty, occasioning actual bodily harm. I ain't going down again. I've studied your form. Lucky to serve only eight years for murdering that teenager. Well, I was underage, innit? Well, this will be a long stretch. Like I told you, bitch. Ain't gonna happen. And you'd have to kill me. Would you repeat that, please? One of us be dead before I do time again. Well, I allow it, Mike. What, what the fuck you doing? I bought the tablet. And those are my phones. <laughs> so let me understand this. You'd rather die than spend another day in prison? Yeah. But I ain't doing no time. May I kill you, then? Whatever. So you're the guy. And you say he'd killed before. Stabbed a 14-year-old to death in front of his mother. Terrible. Mind you, mum was a crack whore. With more old Bill like you, there wouldn't be any riots. Mm. Now, um... Carry on. I want to hear this whole inside story. Kill 
May I kill you then? 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 Right in hell. Yeah, riot in hell. Did you see where they got the plasma from? Again, when you get in from night duty, I will lock you out, mother. <laughs> I'll take that, little lady. Come on, sweetheart. Run along now. Queue of people. Now what, Baz? Wish I had. What? To get him back. For you. Come on, Val. I didn't. But it's as if, well, God did. Poetic. He tried to brain you, but in the end, his brains got spilled. Know what I'm saying, Baz? There's a reason for every little event on this planet. Or do you think we're here by accident? You don't fight evil by accident. It says here, Riot had been murdered on his own book face page. First time in history, anything good's happened on the internet. Skull crushed. Face caved in, hundreds of shards in his brain. Weren't you there that night? Front line. The rioting. I'd like to shake the hand of the person who'd done this. Can't you find out? You're useless. You'll never come to anything. You've got to help me stop, Baz. Only you can make it stop. Or it'll kill you. Super surfing.
Capital punishment. Yep. Corporal. Bring it on. What's the term? Um, Extrajudicial killing. Depends on the crime. Well, our scum who starred in his own snuff movie. If I'd really preferred to die than do the time, then yeah. You should still be on sick leave. What, well, face mother all day? She obviously doesn't mother you, then. To me, there's nothing sexier than a really strong right-wing woman. Really strong. Really right-wing. You a dyke or something? I'll do my own tax dispatrol. Please, sir. <laughs> Madam, permission to go inside the house. No, you fucking can't. Be quiet, yeah, sir. Yeah, please. I'm scared to go in. OK, I'll talk some sense into him. <laughs> Get out of my fucking house! Can we talk this over calmly, please, sir? New procedure. Video all domestics. Oh, fuck <laughs> you! Don't treat a woman like that. What the fuck? Let me go! <laughs> Are you ashamed of yourself? Yeah, no, please. Are you worthy of life? What? You deserve to walk this planet. Um, no. Is it best that I kill you then? Now. No, please. What? <laughs> no, please. I want to stay alive. I promise I won't touch her again. <sighs> Listen to me very carefully. Women are the givers of life. What are they? <laughs> The givers of life. We come out of their vaginas. We came out of their... the vaginas. If I see you assaulting that lady or any other woman, I will take it as permission to kill you. Do you understand me? Yeah. <laughs> will I do? Kill me. Any more problems, Mom? Please call the station. I wish you'd just fuck off out of my life forever my house anyway. Made an extra sarnie. For you. Don't eat fish. Egg and cress? Cress. Sorry. For what? Calling you a lesbian. You didn't. Did. You said dyke. That's insulting. Sorry for calling you a dyke. Let's sleep in dykes lie, eh? <laughs> I was, uh, thinking of going on the East Africa 1000K cycle next year. What for? Combating AIDS in children. Met contingent needs two more riders. Just got time to put in for the leave if someone wanted to come. I 
I don't want no trouble from you. Mr. Slim. Mrs. Slim. Would you prefer him to be taken away, Mrs. Slim? You what? How? A new social engineering program to deal with spousal abuse. It's all hush-hush. But I'm one of the pioneering officers picked by Scotland Yard to identify possible candidates for processing. Yeah? Yeah, and I think Andy could be perfect for it. All right. So, am I just gonna get a slab in or something? I suppose that'd be fair dues. Look, I didn't mean to hit her again. Honest. Mr. Slim. You were given a clear warning on the 14th of this month, were you not? Will you please answer the question? Yeah. Yeah, I was, yeah. Given what? A warning. I also warned on Twitter that this postcode was a zero-tolerance area during this week for crimes of theft, Class A drugs, and violence. Yeah? Which means the death penalty for any breach. It's all clear on the tweet. Who the fuck knows how Twitter works anyway? Ignorance is no excuse in the law. Can you get the bin, please? You get in the bin! Control. Report of black and white cat caught in shop warning 148 High Street. Call me that. Black and white cat. Animal is in distress. Confirm you will attend location. Received. On way to location. Out. Straight back. Policemen don't stoop. A mouth open all the time nowadays. I'll raise you with manners. Where are they now? In the gutter. Time I moved out. But do you help me get me medicine? We've only got each other. Why don't you read a book or something? What? Mills and Boone. Stop watching telly. Why? You're clinically depressed. It's your problem. Mentally ill are a drain on society. They should be got rid of. I'm not ill. I wish you'd just fuck off out of my life forever. Yeah, but you're unstable. And he said so himself. Could have second thoughts. This is my first. 
first communique after the second death sentence I've carried in London. <clears throat> <clears throat> this is my first communique after the second death sentence carried out. London is now a slightly safer place. I'm worried that people might ask, is this real justice? Well, here's my philosophy. In the next life, if there is one, you will get justice. In this life, you get the law, based on fairness and protecting the weak, and private property. Give me your views on Twitter at hash enforce the law. That's hash n for numerical C E the law. walkies. Shoot yourself. Please. Just go away. What's your name? Mandy. Like the song. Oh, Mandy. If you don't stop that, I'll jump right now. Are you genuinely thinking of suicide? Fourth time lucky, I hope. Don't tell me I've got everything to live for. Well, I won't. I mean, maybe you haven't. Maybe you have. I don't know. I just really, really, really need to understand if you want to kill yourself or you just confused. Why don't you just go away like I asked? Look, come down the station with me, have a cuppa, call your parents. I see it. I think you want to kill me. Why don't you let me ask the questions from now on? We'll see how this pans out. Everything hangs on this. What? Do you have a criminal record? Possession? Because we can let that slide. Dealing? Did nine months. And do you feel you deserve to die? <laughs> After a year in a psychiatric ward. You're a drain on society, aren't you? And have you made your decision? And may I kill you? What if the cold water snaps me out of it? Or would you like something to make sure that doesn't happen? Such as? Same again, please. Thank you. So your headache's not spoiling your appetite today, then? since about 6.30 this morning. What's your thoughts on assisted dying? Charming question this time of day. No, seriously. Come on. Yeah? You're for it. 
So long as dear sister isn't getting something out of it. Ill people can be manipulated, you know? Hmm. Not my mother. What's she ill with? It's complicated. It's called, um, multiple hypochondria with double alcoholism. Never invited me round. I'm good with hypochondriacs. You're not my girlfriend. This charity endurance cycle. Don't worry about it. I'll do it. On one condition. We get to do some cheeky cheeky. Just the same as all the other macho coppers then. Oh, no, that's where you're mistaken. I'm not. Oi! You've changed my life, officer. How do you mean, love? <laughs> love now, is it? Well, this government scheme, whatever it is, wherever you've sent him, is it prison? Well, let's just say that his movements have been restricted, severely. Good fucking riddance. I hope I never see him again. Sometimes dreams come true. I think you deserve a reward. Making you safe was reward enough. Gave pleasure. Wait here. Can you bust the door, please? I'm a police officer. I d I'm elderly. I don't like opening the door without an appointment. What's it about? Oh. Delicate matter, ma'am. May I come in? I observed you place two items in your bag and exit the premises without paying. Sorry, could you please keep still? Um. I believe those are the items. But surely, Constable, there's, 
is not worth valuable police time. Miss Wales, I've checked your identity and records on the police national computer. Although you changed your name by deed poll in 1984, you had been convicted of four offences of shoplifting and petty theft in 1981, with a further 14 more to be taken into consideration. You were sentenced to three months in prison. This will surely mean I'd have to go back inside. I am arresting you on suspicion of theft. You do not have to say anything unless you wish to do so, but I must warn you, any failure to do so... Please, please. I couldn't face the disgrace. I work for three charities. Couldn't we come to some, some arrangement? What are you suggesting, Mom? I don't know. Uh, well, you, you have a kind faith. Miss Wales, the media and internet are full of the fact that this area has been designated a no-crime zone. Zero tolerance. The local paper did say there was a vigilante of uh, madmen killing criminals on the spot. It, it, it was um, a free sheet, so one doesn't take it seriously. I, I have to tell you, I have been diagnosed with a terminal heart condition. And frankly, I shan't survive any prosecution, let alone imprisonment. I have no visitors these days. I'm a spinster. I have no children. No siblings still alive. But all this has led me to... Well, which do you think is the best suicide note? I like this one. It's a good layout. Would you like a cup of tea? That's very kind of you. One lump or two? Four, please. I'm ready, Constable. Right. <sighs> Miss Wales, will you please answer into the camera? May I kill you? Do you... Do you have a girlfriend? Um, well, not exactly, but, um... But someone? Well, uh, actually... I've got a request. Yes? When this is all done, could I use your house for a bit, just for, like, visitors and stuff? With this other someone? Maybe. I just need some space on my own. The expenses. No cremation. Not ready yet. Can you come back next week, same time? I have to put my affairs in order. I won't be fleeing the country or anything like that. And well, where would I go? Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Well, treat it as bail, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> right. 
I'd better be off, Miss Wales. I'll trust you. <laughs> I'd like you to know that one of the reasons I've been so downcast is because I found out that my nephew is stealing from me. What's his postcode? You want to punish him? And I must be punished too. Well, ultimately, Miss Wales, that's up to you. What's your name? Mm. You either have to trust me not to report the unconventional proposal made by Officer 469 or dispose of me now. Is that not so? Bartis, Barry, or Baz. Goodbye, Baz. your driver's license and your passports. Understand? Come on, now. Can you turn that down, please? Hey, right. 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 Okay, calm down. Okay, whoa, shh. Calm down. Calm down. Anyone speak English? Help us, help us. They take us, they violate us. Kidnapped you? From our home. Where is home? Russia. 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 Violated, you mean raped? They forced us. Sex. Anyone else here speak English and been raped? Did you know this is a designated zero tolerance zone where any apprehended individuals guilty of serious crimes will be executed? I have reason to believe that you are both guilty of human trafficking and mass rape. Do you understand? This means that you will be put to death now. Is there any reason I should stop? <laughs> right. Hey, sorry. Just out there. Yeah, catch it. <laughs> I'm afraid, so um, we're going to have to improvise. Uh, oh, that. Oh, that's handy. Ah. Passports and money. Share it. You're free to go. Go. What happened with Boris and Darko? They've been uh, processed. Go on, go. Go.
you really not speak any English? You're very pretty. Woke me up again. Didn't sleep a wink all night. You can bloody... Uh, my mother, Bernice. Baz. And you? Maya. Maya. Who's hungry then? I could eat a horse, a Bulgarian horse. <laughs> I, I um, make food. Нет, нет, подожди, я это сделаю, подожди. Slut. Understood that, didn't you? Maya. Hmm. Are you going to explain where you found her? Wouldn't believe me if I told you. Next thing, you'll be turfing me out the house. Thank you. Go upstairs. Your woman now. Why aren't you more frightened? Don't know. Tired of it, maybe. Besides, you're after something. Bulgarians, these guys. Yeah, well, you're so fucking smart, but you fuck this one up. You say you only kill to strict rules, right? People have had to have had a clear warning or understand why you're off in them or kind of agree to it. Yes, and they absolutely agreed. And you know what a nodding head means in Bulgaria? Hmm. No? Bulgaria is one of the few fucking countries in the world where a nodding head means no, and this means yes. Do you understand? Is there any reason why I should stop? You should do more pub quizzes. With the girl, Maya. She definitely shook her head when I told her to get lost. Well, Russia's a different fucking country. Is your IQ in single figures? Why am I you, Buzz? Your next victim, that's why. There were no more victims. My life was getting complicated. No. Mother's never done any housework, except scrub my back since I was nine. Don't you do anything for her, Maya. Okay. Now, I'm going to try and get this stamped. Leave to remain. I have connections. You can stay in London. Da. The officer who upholds the letter of the law. Well, I'm going to lock the door so she can't leave. Well, then neither can I. When was the last time you went anywhere? No, but I've only been here 25 minutes. Please. Can you hear me? Hey, 
no, 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 you just fat cow, stop that. I reckon that the killer's parents have got a criminal past. One, or both. Wales, it's me, it's Baz. But um, no, I don't think we ought to go through with this. I've been thinking about. Dear Baz, as I really have nobody else that I wish to leave the house to since I discovered my nephew thieving, and since you showed such decency in returning my money and not forcing me to accept the death sentence, but presenting it as an option, I have instructed my solicitor to change my will and bequeath the house to you. This key opens the safe in the corner by the window. Please treat its contents as your own. love my aunt. Why did you steal from her then? Why'd she fucking shoplift? I don't know. Maybe it's genetic. Why'd you have to murder a defenseless old lady? I admired you. I really did. You're not fucking Judge Dredge. You're a creep. I did not kill her. I would have uploaded. Liar! <laughs> Christ! Calm down, mate. I'm not your fucking mate. Did they do an autopsy? Because it would have showed she died from natural causes. Yeah, well, we've all heard about poisons that can't be traced. This is what you're going to do. You're going to tell me exactly where my stuff is. And then you're going to sign a confession that says you forced Aunt Max to change her will before you murdered her. And then I'm going to murder you. If you'll just let me finish, you'll learn everything. The identities of the two presumed murder victims are Darko Vlasov and Boris Borisov, described by Bulgaria's Meat Export Association as veteran and respected meat professionals who hated organized crime. In a possible link, though, our Balkans correspondent is investigating what is becoming known as the Sofia Solana scam, in which a You're a bad subsidy is now apparently missing. We go live I should know. Hey. You're never normally late. Red letter day. My old aunt's just left me in her house. And the rest. Get away. I never knew you even had an aunt. Dad's sister. She's been very ill. Bad habits. Anyway, um, 
Sort of house you'd like, I reckon. Yeah? Got to change the curtains and stuff. Trip to Ikea. Why'd you say I'd like it, Baz? Well, let's think about it, yeah? Seems to me, Baz. Seems to me you got to do the thinking. Wasting your measly police wages on expensive junk. <sighs> Where'd you find it? It is real. Soon, Mother, we're going to be living in style. In a fine home. Ah. What are you on about? Well, they contacted me off one of those programmes where they hunt for the heirs. A distant relative of Dad's has died. It's a nice house I've inherited. Dreamer. Ever since that swing got you in the playground. And see what you like now. What are you like at my age? A dreamer? A whore? A thief? <laughs> Was that you creeping around in my den earlier? Don't. Some of you have called me a serial killer. Well, yeah, technically, with five kills. You could argue that one if you want. But I operate with clear guidelines and published warnings in the public interest. And the five criminals who were terminated gave their permission. Residents of neighbourhoods where I operate have already given thanks for reduced crime figures. I'm not a murderer. I'm a death facilitator. My ass, you're a psycho. Who kills old ladies? Now tell me where our stuff is! Where is it? What have you done with it? Seth? It was sharp of you to track me down. But just... I don't understand how you did it. Well, I thought the bastard who did it is bound to show up sometime, so... The lawyer told me I was banned from the house in the will. So I had to live like a tramp and wait. So 
I knew we were talking Ben Coppers. Wrong, Seth. Everything's in the will. <laughs> Why should I believe a serial killer? They're famous for lying as well. It's how they avoid discovery. And now at least I knew where to focus my inquiries. Cycling bobbies. And what did you do next? You might think that I'm some fuddy d I've seen you in your computer room, making weird, bloody videos and commentary. Videos of these faces. Clark, he was the one you kept mumbling about during your concussion. I feel like going out today. Congratulations. Anti-bus route to the police station, short walk. Then I report the killings. Unless the slut leaves now. Oh, I bet you work those Bulgarians nicely, eh? Like you do, my son. She's the problem, then? Not that I admit a thing. Don't worry, we're not all bastards. All bitches in my case. Yeah. He was. You what, love? He was. He tried to kill me. Who? A policeman. Are you sure? Yes. A, a traffic warden. What did the uniform look like? Paramedic, one of those uh, uh, healthcare killers. said uh, the video's on my uh, profile. And is it? Fuck knows. I've been on the street since my parents threw me out. Maybe it's the brown talking. I just don't know anymore. Can you describe him to me? What, and have him come after me again? Please, it's important we investigate this properly. Oh, Please, it's okay. No. I eat the soup! For Christ's sake, I'm good for it! Wait! <laughs> I'd stake out your neck, did you? Smart work. But I want to be done with killing now. Your Aunt Mags. Her kindness. Took away my rage against the world. Well, most of the world. Oh, shit. You're ashamed of something. Someone. Maybe that poor girl you threw in a river. It's someone else. Inside, Mother. Not unless she's heading out this door before sunset. Bag and baggage. She doesn't have any baggage. She's a waif. Not exactly marriage material. 
Come on. Maya. You, England, stay. It's good. Okay. Please sit down. My legs are holding up perfectly well as it happens. It's best to take a shock on bended knee, I always say. You what? You always told me about your glory days, the glittering career in sales, and how you gave it all up when I came along. So, I ran a PNC check on you. You were sent down for a year. That makes me a prison baby. Was father bent too? At least I didn't go around murdering people. You? Shop. Do you even know who my father was? Because I'd like to. You'll accept Maya or pack your bags. Well, you might as well kill me then. Because I shan't be moving. Except to call 999 on you from my house. Well, you are a convicted criminal, living in a zero-tolerance area, i.e. here. So, I might as well. You've always been a disappointment to me. And did I tell you? The ass is going to save the whales. You can always stop me. Would you like to see the new house? I could take you there now if you want. Baz, I'm not going to be around the bush. Which bush would that be? So? Convicted dealer. Drain on society. Whoever chucked her off was doing the best for her and society. You said so yourself. Maybe I did say something like that. I met Mandy Telford earlier today. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> you passed onto the other side. <laughs> she survived the fall. <laughs> it says someone in a uniform pushed her off.
From the get-go, I asked myself if it was just wild coincidence that Clark was the first victim of the killer. But I allowed feelings to get in the way of my professionalism. And how strong are those feelings, Val? What? Is it love? With Mandy as chief witness, I don't stand a chance. Control, control, Sierra 4. Val. Can you not call that in until we're outside the house? Mother's sleeping and um, the shock of it might um, wake up. If you'd looked at my signature, you'd know that I never kill anyone with a clean record. Last of all, you. You will cut the door ahead of me. Then I'll call control. Barry Vartis, I'm arresting you for the murder of Darko Blashov, Boris Borisov, Clark Farrell. Oh, um, could I have one last look at Mother before we go? Trying to hear what she was saying. Uh, keys. Yeah. Yeah, quick. Отче наш, из жизни на небесах. Да светится имя Твое, да придет царство Твое. English. Who are you? Put your hands together on the table. Now. Isn't one pair of cuffs enough for a fucking policeman? Although saying that, policemen in this country don't usually have guns, do they? Hit a woman. Bit rich, isn't it? Coming from him? Oh, 
We need to have words, me and you. Somewhere quiet. Please, I'll just smack you around a bit. Mind a gap. did it for a start. I've stated my reasons. Britain's thanking me. Our world is. Boot it up. I'll give you the password. Do it yourself. Ashamed of something. Someone. Maybe that poor girl you threw in a river. Someone else. Mother's up there asleep. Please don't harm her. Right. You're gonna tell me where the stash is. Oh, just murder. You're so cool. Of course. This ain't jewelry, a little tar can afford. When did he give him to you? When did he give him to you? PC Barry Bartis, Officer 469. I'm going to be having your teeth one by one until you tell me where it is. Hostile intruder at my location with firearm. Open wide then. Ah! Ah! Bye bye. Come here alone. Can you hear me, love? My first strangling. Christ. I'm arresting you on suspicion of murdering Mrs. Bernice Vartis and Police Constable Val Stone on these premises today. Fucking one of them. He's the fucking one you want. He's a serial killer. He's killed loads more. Coming up, sensational revelations in the London suburban murder drama. Not just a double murder, but possibly six. 
someone with a new social media identity claims responsibility, is it really the May I Kill You killer? All this after the break. Located in a fable bikini atoll, the finest holiday experience in the world is available for nothing. We are offering free vacation Thank you. in the Mondo Cafe Resort, one of the highest rated bomb testing sites because we see program radiation usually fell to normal levels and the island particular open for tourism. Because you got this bus, I'll start on evening cruise and the other. You you give to me. Police have not yet reacted to the claim by convicted double murderer Seth Holt to be the May I Kill You killer in what appears to be a genuine link posted via Twitter. Only me and the police are aware of the key facts of the case, which I've now published in my memoirs and on my blog. But you know what? I get a lot of respect in it from the artist of the art. And from Joe Public as well. I mean, look, they're even asking if my film rights are available. Meanwhile, PC Barry Vartis, son of one of Holt's victims and colleague of the other, is to be awarded the Queen's Gallantry Medal. I've been offered a choice for promotion. Motorbikes or firearms. Firearm? What is? Firearms. Welcome to I Survived. Hello. Tell us about the darkest moments when you were held hostage. Well, um, just knowing that Mother was dead upstairs and um, well, the birds hadn't got any water and when my colleague Val was killed, um, I'd actually got quite close to her, but it was troubling me and what a mess it had made on the carpet. But what was really, really the darkest moment? When all the lights were out, it was very dark then. And how did you meet your lovely wife, Maya? Um, I think it was in the back of a van. How did you feel when you discovered your mother was a prostitute? Very angry. Um, I have a feeling that my wife was also a prostitute at one point. But it's okay because I keep her in the house now. <laughs>